One, two, three. Yo, okay. Oh, we're gonna do it now? <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, I'm really very big. Okay, ready? ready? Yo, Yo, what's up? up? Aujourd'hui, je vous retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo et comme vous pouvez le voir, c'est assez spécial comme vidéo parce que je suis avec Priscilla Ono. Oh, Hi! Donc si vous la connaissez pas, et franchement sacrilège, Priscilla Ono est la global makeup artist de Fenty Beauty et aujourd'hui, on est au Shangri-La Hotel pour un petit challenge. So what are we gonna do? So today, I'm gonna be doing my interpretation of a French look. I did half of your face and she did the other half and I want you guys to see how we did it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to do the Fenty face. Okay. But I'm gonna do it in a way where I'm gonna interpret my way of doing a French makeup face. Great. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using the Pro Filter Primer. And this is just so that your makeup like lasts all day. I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm gonna put some on my full body foundation brush and I'm just gonna apply it. And again, I'm only doing half of your face, which is weird. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna mess up and I'm gonna end up doing a little bit on this side. So now I'm gonna do some foundation. I'm gonna take Pro Filter in 250. I'm gonna give it a little shake. I'm gonna actually mix it with a little bit of the primer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I want to do more of a sheared out look, I just mix it with primer. And I'm just going to start to apply it on the center of your face. And I know you like to look a little bit warm, right? Because my body doesn't have the same color as my face. I personally like a more tan face too, yeah. so I understand. Everybody has their preference. And you're right actually, it does match up See? with your body. Yeah. So I'm using the brush and then I like to go in with the sponge and kind of sponge it on. When you do foundation, how do you usually apply it? Sponge. Sponge. But, Full on, just sponge. Yeah, but I feel sometimes the sponge absorbs a lot of product. Right, and that's why I like to use this, the brush first. Because I feel like this is actually going to help apply and distribute the product really well. And then the sponge will like really blend it in. You have great skin, by the way. Really? Yeah. I hate my pores. Really? The what huge. pores? Yeah. No. Now that I put on Pro Filter, there, there is no, no pores. pores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm just layering product where I feel like you need a little bit more coverage. Okay, we're going to move on to concealer. The new Pro Filter concealer. I kind of want to go a little lighter with your concealer. I'm thinking 240 and even 235 to like brighten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it more so on the inner corners of the eye where you probably would need a little bit more coverage. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna use the concealer brush to blend it in. Okay, now I'm gonna brighten under your eyes a little bit. I'm gonna take 235 and I'm gonna again focus it more on the inner parts of your under eye area first. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with my brush. These days I feel like when you dot on just where you need it and then blend and buff and kind of give this like buffing effect around the eye, it actually gives you that seamless look but without it looking cakey. Mm -hmm. And I used to always blend the under eye with a sponge, but these days I like using a brush. I feel like I can feather it a little bit more. Okay. What do you usually use when you do your under I eyes? I only use brush. No, it depends. Sometimes I use like a flat brush mm. and I just dab and I feel that the effect is better, but it has more coverage. More coverage, so. yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now we're gonna do some contour. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take Suede Matchstick, which is one of my favorite colors. I think I use this color a lot in my kit. I'm always replenishing this color. It's a good color for anybody in the 200s, maybe like the very, very early 300s. I like to take a little bit on the full body brush. Like I don't wanna put a bunch of harsh lines on your face, cause then it's gonna take me more time to blend them out. And sometimes it can look too heavy. I just want to give you like this soft contour. But I like suede because it's it's taupey yet it has some warmth in it, which I really, really like. I just like to do a little bit underneath the chin and jawline as well. Cut these cheeks. I, everybody loves a, a cut, chiseled face. I'm not mad at it. So I'm going to take a little bit more foundation and I'm gonna put some on my brush and I'm just gonna like cut underneath your cheekbones. This is a little trick that I like to do, especially if you don't want to put too much contour on. Mm -hmm. This just helps the cheekbones pop without you putting a ton of contour. You're so relaxing. Is it? <laughs> a lot of my clients sleep when I do their makeup. I understand why. They now. all fall asleep. One, I think because they're really busy and they're probably sleepy, but two, I think it's because... They're delicate. I, yeah, and I try to make it, you know, a good experience. And also, too, if you're too heavy with the makeup, too mean to it, mm. it's not going to come out right. You have to be loving and yeah. gentle and buff everything in, and then that's when you get the good result. That's blended. Okay, so now we're going to do some blush mm -hmm. and some highlight. And I know that you love to look glowy. Yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit of Yacht Life Matchstick. And this has, like, this really pretty pinky but a little bit of gold mm -hmm. in it. 
and I'm gonna take the full body brush and I'm gonna scoop it. So this is how I like to apply it. I just feel like it works so much better this way. Smile for me. So I'm gonna take this, oh you have such pretty cheekbones. <laughs> so I'm gonna make those cheekbones really pop. So I'm gonna put this really pretty peachy tone all on your cheeks and it's gonna give you like blush with a little bit of glow which i love and i'm just blending this and i'm still using that same brush i use this for your primer foundation for your contour like this is my mvp brush like the full body brush is so awesome pretty okay so now we're gonna do my secret combo and i like to layer a little bit of rum which has a little bit of bronze in it mm -hmm. and i just like to put that on top to kind of give like the sun kiss look which is really nice I'm just gonna put a little bit on your brow bone too. Ooh, stunning. We love. Now we're gonna do a little bit of setting powder. At the mask class, I've used banana. Banana, yeah, I think banana is a good. I think banana is mm -hmm. a good one. So for anyone at home that has this, make sure that you don't throw your box away when you buy it. This little stopper comes inside the box, and all you do is just put it in here, so that way your powder doesn't get all over the place. So I'm just gonna take the little stopper out. I'm gonna take the powder puff brush, which is so nice and soft and fluffy. And I'm gonna take some of that powder and I like to kind of swirl it around in the cap a little bit and kind of press on the back of my skin so that it like coats the brush mm -hmm. and then I'm just gonna set all over kind of avoiding the area where I put your highlight, matchsticks yeah. and highlight yeah I don't want to I don't want to get that area any matteness I just want it to stay shiny okay so I'm gonna take a little bit of butter and I'm gonna use this under your eyes and I'm just gonna apply this right underneath. So this is gonna be a nice like brightening shade under your eyes. So nice. Girl, you're looking I'm living my best life right now. You are good. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Pro Filter Eyeshadow Primer and I'm just gonna dot some on your eyelids. And I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, so now we're gonna take the Moroccan Spice Palette. I love it. There's a big hole in the come and get it. Really? Oh, yeah. That is like your go-to, right? I love the shade. Like 90% of the time I do Rihanna's makeup, we use Kuman Get It. Well, of course we're gonna use Kuman Get It. Yes. Like, it's just the go-to. And I'm gonna take the blending brush and I'm gonna apply that right in the crease. And I just wanna get like a wash of color. I'm not really doing this like some cut in the crease I'm doing it more so just to get a pretty wash because again I want to create like this really pretty kind of diffuse daytime highlight bronze look so I want the eye just to look really nice and soft should we do monochromatic or should we do a pop of bronze and gold what do you think when you think French people <sighs> I just think like sun-kissed like in the Sun at a cafe drinking some coffee and the sun hitting you okay so sun vibes is bronzy vibes okay so a little bit of casablanca and a little bit of mirage so i'm going to apply this right on the eyelid to kind of give like a nice little pop and a little bit of shine and i just want to diffuse like right at the crease where the light starts just to make sure that everything is nice and blended mm -hmm. through and then i'm also going to take a little bit of mirage and actually a little bit of hustler baby for sure yes and i'm going to put some on your brow bone like, wow. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And I'm gonna do Rihanna's technique when it comes to highlighting that I actually learned from her, where you take some of the highlight, this is still Hustler Baby, and you put some from the brow bone to the temples and then back on the tops of the cheekbone. And this just gives this beautiful halo and like wash of color. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Now we're gonna do some eyeliner, but for the eyeliner, I'm actually gonna stand up to do it. I'm gonna get on your other side so that I can get in really good position because I just wanna give you like this really pretty, perfect French girl wing. Okay, so I actually wanna cheat your eye a little bit and I'm gonna start the eyeliner a little bit before your, where your eye actually starts and kind of make this a really nice little wing while your eyes open mm -hmm. so I know exactly how it's gonna look looks so good okay close your eyes and i love using the fly liner because it's so inky and so black like the pigment payoff is so so nice and take it all the way into the inner corner flick open wow all right so we did a little bit of a lash mm -hmm. to complement that beautiful liner 
And now we're gonna go in with some Stunna. Actually, just taking off like whatever is like left over there. And I'm just gonna follow your natural shape. I'm like, how much is half? I'm like going further and further in. This is so weird. I've never done half. I'm good. Oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back with Moroccan spice and I'm gonna dip a little Hennessy and a little cumin get it. And I don't know, every time I see like French makeup, I always see like this little smoke with darker under the eyes. I don't know if it's French or not, but this is something Rihanna always does and I wanna do it on you. Cause you have this really pretty like open inner corner and you just put a little shine in here. I love to do this. Isn't this nice? Yeah. And sometimes I go through like till here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> voila. Is it voila or voila? Voila. 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 Okay, you so have to ready. cover this side okay. though. Okay. Okay, wait. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you so envision glowing. it? It's so glowy, right? I'm living right now. Oh, it is beautiful. You're so beautiful. Thank okay, you for letting me do you. it. Okay, now are you ready to do the oh other side? Oh my god, side? no. <laughs> let's go. Am I allowed to help you to to like so that can you can we cheat? Okay, let's cheat. Fuck it. Did I kind of say that? <laughs> yeah, on my channel you can say anything. Okay. So I had point. questions from okay. my subscribers. Oh, okay, you. so maybe yeah. you can ask me while we're doing this. Okay, that sounds good. First question. Uh huh. Go to makeup when you have like five minutes. Go to makeup when I have five minutes is I dot a few dots of concealer under my eyes really quick. Lots of gloss bomb because mm -hmm. it's fast. Curl my eyelashes and comb up my eyebrows. How did you get the job? With like, as, as a, a, a global, global makeup, makeup artist? artist? Yeah. Artist. I actually met Rihanna on a set of one of her music videos. I was doing makeup for the extras for her music video S and M. And when she was coming in to set, she was like was coming in like on a golf cart. Like I could see her coming. And in my head, I'm thinking, okay, be cool. Don't look at her like in the eyes. Like you know, you want to be you know, discreet, you don't want to be crazy, even though I was like fangirling out like, oh my God, there's Rihanna. And she gets off the golf cart, she looks like a goddess. Like, I just remember her body being like shimmery and shiny and just oh my God. looking so beautiful. As soon as like I looked up, she like looked at me, so we like looked at each other. Yeah. And I was like, oh crap, like I got scared at first, like maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and then as soon as she saw me, she just walked up to me. So cool, so chill. like if I had known her for years and she was like, wow, I love your hair. And like just being so nice and complimenting me and just the coolest girl ever. And we did the scene. Director came up to me and said, hey, Rihanna really loves you. And she wants oh to know God. if you can be in her music video. And I was like, um, yes, of course. And then after that, we became friends. So we were, we've been friends for a very long time. And then when I heard she was doing her uh, makeup line, I read about it online. Yeah. I uh, emailed her creative director and I said, hey, you know, if Rihanna ever needs any help with anything with the line, I, you know, I'm here, I would love to help. Mm -hmm. And then right away I got an email back saying, actually she's looking for a global makeup artist and they were having these tryouts. And I think 3000 people came from all over the world to try out for the job. It was almost like Project Runway, but like for makeup. Yeah. It was really cool actually. It was 30 of us in LA and I think it was like 10 in New York and they had us go in and they had us do challenges. How long was it? It was two days. Oh my god, so yeah, intense. intense. Yeah, intense, like yeah, eight hours a day. It was really cool though. And after that, from the 30, they cut it down to three. And on the last day, Rihanna came and she had one, uh, th us three go in one by one and do her makeup. It was the best experience ever. And I remember being really nervous like when I first walked in because it was like, okay, you have to like do your best. While I was doing her makeup, like she would compliment certain things and say, wow, I really like this, I really love this. and. It was like an angel in my ears, like the best feeling. Like oh when God. someone compliments you, like, come on. Especially and, Rihanna. Like, come on, <laughs> yeah, it's the best. I just remember that night not wanting to go to bed because I was like, I don't want to stop thinking about all the nice things that she said. And then after that, two months later, I, I got um, the call that I got the job. Here I am today. Everything that she makes, she actually creates everything herself. She's 120% involved. Everything from the formula, to the names, to the packaging. Like she ha always makes sure that everything is perfect and every idea is like her idea and it shows because the products are just so good. But I have a question. Yeah. Uh, at the Met Gala, she was wearing the um, holidays 
a collection. Yes. It means that the collection was out way before, like was created way before. Oh yes, it takes Rihanna season. years to make. It yeah. took her two years to develop the foundation. It really um, takes time, especially for her because she sends things back if it's not perfect and she wants mm -hmm. everything that has her name on it to be perfect yeah, which is totally sure. understandable of course mm -hmm. she's such an inspiration she really is she's i think that's because she's real you can see that she puts so much love into everything she does mm -hmm. it inspires you to just be authentic and it shows in the products but for you're you. doing it right yeah you're I'm, even scooping I'm, it of course you're so good <laughs> even through conversation she is killing it over here oh my god i'm learning from the best Oh my god, you're so good. But for you, what are like um, drawbacks in the makeup industry? Oh, there's so many. You know, yesterday I had a class and uh, here in Paris and someone came up to me at the end uh, was like, can I ask you a question? And I said, yes, of course, of course. And she said, you know, I feel like quitting makeup. Like, I don't want to do it anymore. Mm. Like, do you have any advice for me? And I was like shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, my biggest advice to you is don't quit. You know, there were so many times in these 15 years that I've been doing makeup where I wanted to quit. Yeah. So many things happen, you know, whether it be financial issues or you feel stuck, like you're not growing as an artist and you just want to give up but i'm so happy that i never did but i think that people have to remember like anything that's really good anything that's worth it is always hard to get like i know so many talented artists that quit for one reason or the other and it's a shame because they're so good and they could have gone so far they don't have like enough self-confidence right yeah. yeah so we're here to tell you don't quit keep going live your passion live your passion it's worth it i know you won't tell them when is rihanna uh dropping her album <laughs> oh my goodness i received this question so many times people just don't get i mean i get it Rihanna's music is epic and we all want it, but we have to give her her time. Anything that's good and it's worth it, again, takes time. Just be patient and just know that when it does come out, it's probably gonna be fire and it's gonna be worth it. I, I always feel so much anxiety for her. Mm. Anytime she drops like a pro new product or you know, she's she has Where's her lingerie album? line, right? And I'm just like, guys, Guys, let her breathe. Isn't She's working on it. When you have like so much pressure. Yeah, it takes the inspiration away. So just you know, let her be. Let her do her thing on her time. What's your favorite Rihanna song? Oh my God, I have so many. Okay, maybe top three. The third. Okay. Would be California King Bed. Yeah. The OG. Throwing it back. Yeah. Okay. Second would be B. Better have my money. That's a good one. Of course. Really good one. Oh, and the first one, Love on the Brain. Love on the Brain. Especially when she did it on stage. On the, the MTV. best performance, right? I love this performance. I I'm living know, for it. Like, I'm going to tell you guys a little secret. I'm kind of embarrassed about this. There's been a couple times where um, like, I feel like I need like some strength or some power. Mm -hmm. And like, I've watched that performance to yeah. like, get strength. Because you can just feel the strength in her voice. Mm -hmm. Top three, that's so hard. I love Kiss It Better. It's, I was yeah. listening to that this morning. I love the guitar riff in it. I love the way her voice sounds. And she has like all these changes in her voice in that song. And I really love that. On the replay, because hello. Probably Princess of China. Like that's such a good one. Like I love the way the song sounds and how she does a duet. Like I just think it's so cool. Where's the hustler? Do you mix both? Because I like to do this. Yeah. Even though yeah, I'm do it, do it. Okay. more highlighted, the better. Right? Yes, girl. Oh yes. my god. Get into that glow right there. Do you guys see this? Finish with the skin? Yes. yes. You you killed it. It looks so good. I'm so scared, you know, because you never like do the same line. I know, but just to get it as similar so you as possible. Before the end of my eye. Right before okay. the end, yeah. Yes. Okay. <gasps> it was actually the first makeup product I ever owned was eyeliner. Which is weird because most girls will just say like lip gloss or mascara, which is crazy. You won't believe me, but me too. Really? Yeah. I was a big fan of like Japanese culture and style. Oh yeah. So I was a fan of highlight of uh, eyeliners. Was mascara your first eye product or was eyeliner your first eye product? Comment that below. We want to know. I think I messed it up. Let me see. I need help with this one. Yeah, I can help you out. Yes. Better. So now I need to know mm -hmm. what's your top three 
product, Fit and Beauty products. Matchsticks, you already know. Number one. It's like you can leave me somewhere and just give me all the matchsticks. I can do a full face. I've even done eyebrows with matchsticks before. Uh -huh. Like I can do foundation, concealer, contour, blush, highlight, eyeshadow, like lip. I could literally do a full face. Um, number two would probably be Invisimat powder. Third would have to be the full body foundation brush. The brush that mm -hmm. I use for foundation, matchsticks, it is contour. It's a very nice brush. It's such a good brush. What are your top three? Gloss balm. Gloss first. balm. Yes. Uh, the setting powder and da, 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 da. no wait no hustler baby hustler baby the first one of course okay okay gloss balm then setting powder okay and I was like wait <laughs> hustler baby she forgot something she forgot her baby I think we're good just lashes lashes we're ready you look so pretty thank you this does look very classic French beautiful the same. C'est tout pour cette vidéo. J'espère qu'elle vous aura plu. C'était It was a honor to do this video with you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you for having me. I had so much fun and you killed it. You did a good job. Yeah, so proud. Oh my god. Donc si vous ne connaissez pas, je suis Mara de la chaîne Total Beauty. It's me. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> dream came true. <laughs> Donc n'oubliez pas de liker, de commenter, de vous abonner et d'activer la cloche pour être au courant à chaque fois que je sors une nouvelle vidéo. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much Thank for you. having me. I love you. I love you. We'll do more videos in the of future. Course. Okay, of great. Course.